You might have heard that because Saturn has a lower density than water, it would be able to float on water. And whilst this kind of logic is true for things like ice cubes and other small objects, when things are scaled up to a planetary scale, there is more you need to think about than just densities. First of all, Saturn wouldn't float like a balloon, just touching the surface. It would float more like an iceberg, with a small bit above the water, but the majority below. Because Saturn is so big, the depth of water needed to allow it to float would be as deep as six Earths stacked on top of each other. Now, if we assume such a body of water exists in the universe, we encounter another problem. At the bottom of this body of water, there will be an incredible amount of pressure. Now, it's hard to know exactly what water would do at this pressure, but chances are the molecules would break up and possibly even undergo fusion, which would create a sun. This kind of reactor environment would not allow Saturn to float on it, and would more likely destroy it. Even if we assume that we somehow get the water stable, there is another issue. Finding a planet which could hold water deep enough to allow Saturn to float would have an incredibly large gravitational pull. Assuming it doesn't undergo fusion from its own gravity, it would probably pull Saturn apart. Saturn has a liquid metal and rock core, which would be pulled into the water, and the rest of Saturn, which is gas, would probably disperse across the massive planet's surface, which doesn't count as floating. So Saturn wouldn't be able to float on water, despite having a lower density than water. I hope you found this video interesting, and if you did, please give it a comment, thumbs up, and subscribe.